keeping the back leg straight and extended, press the carriage forward, extending the front knee. Return the carriage back in, controlling knee flexion. Inhale to press the carriage forward as you extend the knee and exhale to return the carriage in, flexing the knee. Try and keep the pelvis in a level position, avoiding rotation and laterally flexing. The front leg hip should be drawn into hip flexion and control the back leg from hyperextending and the pelvis from dropping too low. Starting with your hands on the shoulder rest, start to push the carriage forward, extending through the knee. Return the carriage back, flexing the knee. And as you push the carriage forward, reach one arm out to the side to challenge stability. Return the arm back to the shoulder rest as the carriage returns. Inhale to press the carriage out. Exhale to return the carriage in. This is a pelvis stability exercise and also to challenge the body to go into the full balanced position. Try and avoid hyperextending through the back knee and keeping the laterally rotated position through your hips, being careful not to rotate the pelvis out of the neutral, keeping the hips as square as possible and the spine lengthened out in a nice long line from the hip. Keeping your balance and your body upright in this position, slowly inhale the carriage forward, extending through the knee, and exhale to return the carriage in, flexing through the knee. Pressing through the heel of the foot to lengthen through the hamstrings to straighten the knee, and control the hamstrings as you flex the knee. Keep the back foot pressing into the foot bar to maintain hip extension, keeping the abdominals connected to keep the body upright. This is a challenging position for balance and proprioception. The preps for this with the hands on the shoulder rest and one arm out to the side lead you into this more challenging position.